What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to the Eminence in Shadow, this time with episodes 11 and 12. Uh, last episode we had a really awesome end to the last arc, uh, Shadow taken on Sherry's father, which was uh, quite a brutal end to the arc, seeing Sherry um, very depressed, uh, screaming, just like she did in the flashback we saw her mother's death of um, her father killing her mother. Uh, pretty much the exact same scene that happened with Shadow killing, uh, killing her father, so um, looking forward to maybe seeing her again in the future, kind of seems like she might be gone for quite a while though uh we did end up going to this new kind of very religious seeming place at the end of uh episode two uh there was a lots of fan service that's boosted my memory <laughs> from the second episode we watched last week but uh really excited for this new uh this new kind of arc that's going to be starting up let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions let's get right into the video guys i'm still not sure what like the premises of this but Again, I'm kind of hoping it's not all fans up, so I don't think it will be. I almost kind of equate last week's episode, second episode, to a kind of beach episode, pretty much. And it's absolutely stacked. Looks like we're getting some fan service of the opposite type <laughs> this, uh, this week. Never been to one personally. They do always seem very relaxing in the anime. Oh crap. <laughs> Is that Alexia? Ah, oh, cute little duck. Oh, oh, I think that might just be a toy to be fair. I do like little ducks. How cute is that, mate? Is that Alexia? I mean, it looks a hell of a lot like her, but obviously the the clothes in the setting are quite a big tail, which we're missing, <laughs> which we are missing right now. I know she did make her way here. I'm pretty sure. As we'll say, this opening has grown a lot of me. It wasn't my favourite song. The visuals have always been brilliant. But it wasn't my favourite song, but it's grown on me quite a bit, to be fair. Yeah, it looks like that's the, the girl we'll be covering in this in this arc which again it's quite surprising i thought it might be the blonde one that's really really <laughs> tied up with shadow and fawning over him crazily but um no it looks like that's gonna be safe for last which is again intriguing i think that is her yes Goddess's trial. Fighting ritual. Pretty much. Damn, she really does have some massive things, doesn't she?
Interesting. So we're summoning old legends. I can imagine maybe something bad coming from being able to summon things like this. Crimson Knight. Again, a lot of lot of fan service already. Maybe this whole arc's just gonna be <laughs> just gonna be fan service. <laughs> Worm. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god. Imagine having imagine the girl having that reaction <laughs> when you get up like that. Ow. <laughs> that sounded like it hurt. Hey. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Excalibur. Again, that is like the reaction you would uh, you would dream for if this if this situation ever occurred. Really, oh my god! <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> oh well. Ah oh dear. I mean, she's one to talk herself. Like I said, she's like a teenage girl with must have had boob jobs, right? That's what I just assume with most <laughs> most girls in anime, honestly. Yeah, there's a couple recognizable faces. Jack Nelson. Jack or Nelson. Again, another really English name right there. If it hasn't been disposed of already. She really is very famous. <laughs> Again, why is she fucking? That's what women think of. I think so, to be fair. 
Especially nowadays, you see, you do see a lot of outfits similar to this, don't you? When I was growing up, you never, mate, <laughs> you never saw anything like this. Well, that's a bit weird to say, but imagine if if I imagined women were wearing stuff they do nowadays. When I was a when I was growing up, I would have been a lot more of a horny little kid. A beauty mark on her cheek. Yeah, probably not the best person to make enemies of Alexia. These girls are quite powerful. But, um, yeah, again, honestly, as as maybe again, not all women think like that. I imagine, but much as people like to prance about toxic masculinity, there is toxic femininity as well as uh, and kind of bitchy uh, kind of stuff and girls rivaling each other for lust and such. No one talks about that. <laughs> no one talks about that. This is not a problem. Who cares? <laughs> Who really cares about that stuff? This guy looks like he's playing baseball. There's no way a warrior is going to come out for some mob like this. Commemorative medal. <laughs> I was kind of expecting him to fight in this. Maybe that might still happen. I guess that was a no. As expected. Must be pretty boring just waiting here for someone to come out. It's another note. And then just to get laughed at as well, you come here, pay so much, and then just get laughed out and have to walk out. <laughs> Nothing again. Again, the disappointment and the boring. This must be imaginable, honestly. Just waiting here ages for a fight. Probably best, Shadow. Probably best. I haven't seen Alpha at all. The hell are these people? There she is. Emma's still here. A, a darkness. I wonder how many fights they've seen. One. Hey, there he is. <laughs> that sure is. Although I've never heard the name Sid Kagena. Oh, I wonder who signed him up. But yeah, they've seen one fight this entire time. How fucking boring. Hmm. 
Yeah, just don't show up. Why? Oh, well. Yeah, actually, yeah. Good point. Oh, you know what? It's been a long time since I've actually seen his sister. Almost kind of forgot she was a thing, honestly. Again, we know it's not like a true sister, but this kind of world's sister of his. Okay, what's going on here? Confuse the matter. Okay, makes sense. Interrupt a shadow so Sid doesn't have to come out. And then fight whoever's going to come out that way. Good plan, to be fair, good plan. Definitely the best of the options. That filthy rat. Don't want me. I do love how they say rat. I like the word rat in English. It's a it's a nice insulting sound. <laughs> rats aren't all bad, but I like people. I like calling people rats. Uh, I like the word nezami as well. No, whoever's behind you did. Isn't this not the woman that we see in the in the TV in the in the opening? We can actually tell this time because we get, we'll be able to notice a little mole under her mouth. Witch of calamity. <laughs> yep. I've got a big old nose, but I imagine I can do that pretty well. Powerful witch in history. They've got a similar kind of design going on, honestly, haven't they? Shadow and Aurora. Yeah. I feel a little bit bad for the crowd. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad they get to finally see a fight. Yeah, that is, I'm pretty sure that is the, the woman from the opening. Just in terms of, uh, and potentially just getting killed. Honestly. I'll be scared as fuck. So what you're telling me here is that this is going to be a good battle for Shadow, not just a an absolute spanking. I say that, but that, that might not be true.
again what's happened to those people in the Colosseum right there <laughs> are those are they just going all the way and hitting people probably not I imagine the crowd's going to be fine but I'd still be scared Oh, there's like a barrier. We did see that earlier, to be fair. Oh, shit. <laughs> that sounded like fucking... I forget what those games are called. Just easily dealt with yet again. Okay. What are those games called? That you uh have those little flippers and you flip you flip the ball. Sounded like one of those honestly. But man, I haven't played one of those in ages. Ages. Since like I was a kid. I haven't seen one of those in ages either. Yeah, she got absolutely destroyed. Holy crap, man, now the barrier's broken. Oh shit. Alright, now I do feel for the crowd. <laughs> the more getting summoned? Holy shit. Going on here. That looks like something very biblical, doesn't it? I've seen something that looks like that before. Um, I, I think first of all, I, I recognise that from Full Man Alchemist. I think it is from the the Door of Truth. But um, I think in actuality, there is a kind of religious text like that, or some something along those lines. Again, I've seen I've seen the image of that a fair few times throughout media, mostly anime. <laughs> Good episode though today, wasn't it? Again, a lot of fan service again, but looks like we're kind of getting over that now. <laughs> Although it still seems to be, again, more prominent than ever in this series. Like I said, I'm not I'm not a massive fan of fan service. I don't mind it at all. A big focus on it is not is what I don't like. Just just purely focusing on fan service. I don't like that whatsoever. Although when we did do that in the op opening of this episode, it was pretty funny. But again, it's more comedic than actually for the the case of pure fan service. Yeah, yeah, so a good first episode. Uh, again, still a little confused as as in the actual kind of um, what's happened just here. <laughs> we uh, we beat this Aurora woman, and now something's happened again. I hopefully it gets explained here, but um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty crazy ending again. I was I was maybe hoping for some a little bit. I mean, this Aurora woman was pretty hyped up. I said pretty hyped up. She was a little bit hyped up. It wasn't like we had a whole episode hyping her up or anything, but um, she was said to be pretty powerful and a destroyer of the world. So I think, again, that just kind of speaks the levels, doesn't it? The levels that Shadow uh, Sid has, doesn't it? Um, I wonder if there is a match <laughs> a match for him. If, that, if that's the best these ancient fucking warriors can give him, um, is there anyone alive today that can kind of deal with him i very much doubt it but um yeah really nice animation during that fight wasn't there uh, especially of course from uh from this aurora woman she had a really cool ability actually um and but again it was just a really awesome moment of sid just absolutely destroying that again lots of fan service last uh, last episode but 
didn't mind it. Uh, I, I quite like it when it's kind of funny fan service rather than again just fan service for the sake of fan service and getting out there. But um, let's uh, let's get right into this next episode, guys, as things are starting to heat up in this arc. Oh there. I mean, I feel like they might be talking about whatever the fuck's going on here. Is it the Book of Law I'm thinking of? I don't, I don't know. Again, I'm not too... I, again, funny enough, I went to a Christian primary school, but I really don't know too much about the Bible, religion. Any religion, for that matter. Keeps... Popping up. Also reminds me a little bit of the wings on the side, or almost reminds me a little bit of um, Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds with the, the sign of dragon and the glowing kind of red mark. Again, I've definitely, definitely seen this. I've been similar to this before. I feel like maybe in um, Neon Genesis Evangelion as well, I think we saw something similar to this. He's going through it. What is this? I think more than anything I like about the song is the kind of the uh the instrumental to it. Oh, the singers are right as well, but I really like the beat behind it. It's not the usual. I think the more I have watched this, the more I do see this as a almost a bit of a rip, almost of a, like a, an Evangelion or something where they like go to school, it's average average girls, and then uh, obviously it's like magical girl stuff. I've, I've never really seen too many magical girl shows. I think I've seen um, Card Captor Sakura when I was a kid, and dubbed obviously thinking it was a cartoon. Again, I was really young. I used to I think I, I don't remember anything about that show, but I used to remember I really liked that show. As a kid, but yeah, this is a. It's open. It's just like a little bit of a rip on <laughs> on that type of stuff. Going to school, being a special, the truth within memories. Yes, explain. Does that mean that like, they've recognized him as a warrior that could be kind of used as well? A welcoming door. Okay. There's three types. Two of them didn't sound very good. <laughs> the welcoming door sounds the best, but even then it's a pretty ominous looking thing, isn't it?
They're all strong. All the girls are pretty strong. In different ways. Ah, they're going through as well? I thought it was a kind of only Shadow could go through deal, but I guess not. Of course, they take care as, <laughs> as the hostage. Oh shit. Oh shit. The boobs. <laughs> you cut our boobs off. You can't be doing that. <laughs> Do you know what? For a minute, for a couple of seconds there, they were absolutely ginormous. <laughs> You can't just cut off a woman's boobs like that. Holy shit. <laughs> it's destroyed. No oh, prisoners. I'm guessing this kind of ta more tanned one that we saw last episode for a little flash of. I'm guessing she's a new member. She looks like she's got a pretty cool design, honestly. And now it's closing. Is she going to jump in there? Oh dear. Not a good choice. Oh really? You as well? For fuck's sake. Yeah, I was half hoping she'd try and then just fall. <laughs> fall to the ground. Oh dear. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> that is a bit of a weird way to land. Yeah, <laughs> that is the that is a reaction I I feel. You go. What the fuck are you doing? It's going to be an absolute nuisance. Oh. Don't give a shit. I don't know, as I said, I feel like these girls might be a bit of a nuisance. I don't, I'm not, still not sure what's going on here, but... Oh yeah, I think that was mentioned a few episodes ago actually. The sealed arm. Oh, so a woman. Yeah, I thought it was a man as well. Oh, crap.
There she is. What is going on? So here's Aurora again. Oh shit. Jesus. <laughs> Why not? He used to train like this? Or like a. Uh, almost like a magic trick. True, true. I guess our goals do kind of align here. Long ass hair, hasn't she? Bloody hell. Yeah. God likes destroying stuff, doesn't she? But like he says, won't that just end all the memories of these people and Well I guess I guess they they maybe want it to be over with. Their life's over in real life, so I mean, in comparison, she is, but in general, no, she's nowhere near. Yeah, as I said, there'll just be no memory left of these guys. And again, I, I can imagine they probably want that, quite a few of them. Jesus. There's a little Olivia. Again, the way they, they spoke about it made us maybe think of a French man. I, I guess it does kind of fit a girl as well. She is. <laughs> you probably wet the bed. Not making light of this situation at all.
ya bolos saibo. Fucking hell, their bones are still there. Looks like the apocalypse, honestly. Nothing. Holy crap. This is a little a little glimpse of Diablosos. <laughs> Diablos <laughs> Diablosis. However you wanna say that. Diablos. Nuts. Is that what we saw the guy in the first arc consume to kind of grow his power? There he is. <laughs> You're the lowest descendant of a guinea pig. <laughs> Would that not make you the lowest descendant of a guinea pig for doing this, let alone these people showing it? Sorry guys, I literally just missed that bit of text right there. Laughing at this dude. <laughs> The lowest descendant of a guinea pig. Tremendous power and a body that never grows old. I lo I love the uh <laughs> you can see the grass marks on his forehead right there. Deeds of Diablos. <laughs> there you go bored. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Twelve in a year, so once a month. Ooh. Oh. Oh wow, interesting. Yeah. So there's every month is associated with a, a one of them taking one of the beads. Oh, 
<laughs> and he's a knight of the rounds. Okay, makes sense. The avaricious. Well, dispose of quickly. I think this is the one of the first times she's had a big moment, not in one of the special episodes. Yeah, yeah, he is immortal. Holy crap. Let's go, girls. So this is... Where they hatch. <laughs> oh shit, there's loads of them. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Again, I'm looking forward to seeing more of this girl. She's uh again, she's in quite a few of the specials, isn't she, that we're gonna watch right after this episode. If you guys wanna stick around for that, but she's in quite a few of them. She hasn't really had any major moments in the actual show yet, but nice to see, nice to see. Here's the uh here's the author. A quite exposing pose. <laughs> yeah, good, a good couple of episodes today. Again, this arc definitely taking it a little bit more slow than the uh, other ones. In in a way, I guess. I mean, maybe I'm talking absolute rubbish there, but definitely for the first couple of episodes, it took it a little bit slower. Do -do, do -do -do. Yeah, we had so much fan service that we actually saw boobs get cut off today. <laughs> Pretty impressive. I'm not. I think I might have mentioned that in a video. Uh, might have been, might have been this show. To be honest, I think I mentioned relative recently. I've never seen that before. In something I recently watched that in, and now I've seen it twice within the span that span of time. <laughs> He even got the, the lovely toes in there for those of you inclined that way. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, we're going to get right into the uh, two or three episodes of the special of the uh, of the specials right after these episodes. But yeah, fun episodes today. Um, again, we saw some nice fight scenes, especially with Aurora. She uh, definitely seems like quite a promising character. Honestly, quite like her. Uh, quite like her a little already, to be honest with you. Um, and she's got that little bit of complexity as well with her that she kind of wants it all over um definitely got a bit of a i don't know if i want to call it a syndrome <laughs> of just destroying stuff and it said that she destroyed the world at one point uh, now she wants to destroy her own kind of world and her own kind of memories and all the memories of these heroes so uh looking forward to again seeing a little bit more out of her she seems like she's got a very interesting past as well um again i'm not i'm not sure if that again it might just be me kind of being stupid to be honest with you but i'm not sure if her past is i think it's separate from the stuff we saw with olivia but um her past looks quite emotional as well i'm not sure if she was kind of uh drugged up and and kind of exposed to all this diablosis stuff as well <clears throat> i don't think she was i think again her her story is kind of separately kept in this place um and uh, again this olivia's story is separate and she uh and She's one of the only kind of success stories, success stories that, that came out of uh, this experimental facility. But um, yeah, interesting kind of concept of this arc already, isn't it? Kind of going back in the past and uh, and seeing all these kind of ancient uh, memories and stuff. Um, looking forward to seeing this fight with this guy. I just find it absolutely hilarious. He's got a body like that with 
that face <laughs> and that head uh, but yeah quite a few good comedy moments as well in, in today's episode like i said i like the mix of comedy and fan service i don't like it when it's just fan service so um very much acceptable today for me personally and again i think the best bit of fan service we got was again the boob being cut off <laughs> i think that was one of the best moments uh do let me know if you guys did think of these couple episodes though down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions um i'll be back next week with episode 13 and 14 um and after after this we'll now get right into the uh, a couple of special episodes okay so right into episode seven we're only going to do a couple of these today i think the seven shades wanted to select underwear oh well, didn't we already watch this one sorry i'm just going to skip through no it doesn't look like we did see this one we saw a section of this um at this place didn't we Game day underwear. I mean, it's not uncommon, I don't imagine. Oh, wait. We saw one of the girls didn't wear any. But she's not an animal type of girl, is she? Isn't this because she's literally got like slime boobs? <laughs> this is the same girl that got her cut off last episode, right? Again, I think that's the one that we saw. Um got her boobs cut off there and I think they're, they're slime. Oh, I'm gonna have to reload. But yeah, I um, I think I mentioned this in the comment section. I, I, I didn't understand that this was a, this, this studio that does these, it's like, this is their speciality right here. Pretty impressive. I kind of like stuff like that where they they specialize in one type of thing and they're great at it rather than a whole host where they have hit or miss shows but i don't it's not like i hate that stuff either some of the best anime comes from studios like that But what's actually the deal with them? <laughs> what is under the... Is there just nothing under the slime? <laughs> Little cuckoo. <laughs> what is this? The bath enforcing machine. Otodoki skun. 
You know, I'm quite excited. This is probably probably my favourite bit of fan service. I'm quite excited to actually see what's under the slime. So she's kind of sparring inside the pigeon. Oh, I really like the girl with the purple hair. We don't see her all too often, do we? I think we saw her at the end of the last arc, but um, other than that, we don't see her all too often. But yeah, fun little. Uh, I think I especially love that second little segment there. Both of them were about um, Epsilon. Uh, I think I, I did mention this a few a while ago about the phon phonetic alphabet and how it's actually Echo, but maybe that's just in the UK. I know that different uh, countries and stuff have their different um, different words for what they use phon phonetically. And I think Epsilon is one of the ones used other than Echo. Um, but yeah, good uh, good couple of special episodes there, wasn't it? Like I said, um, I really like the purple head girl quite a lot. She's really funny, isn't she? Uh, I think her voice actor does a brilliant job of making her kind of lack that kind of emotion as well. Um, and uh, just being a bit, um, what's it called? Not, just can't see what she's doing, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah, good, uh, good couple of specials there, really good couple of episodes as well. Really excited to see what's going to be happening next week again. Very interesting concept that's going on right now, isn't it? Um, so yeah, really excited for that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these specials in the comment section as well. Leave a like on the video if you guys like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day, guys.